So the next one is about multiplying and dividing algebra. So remember, we deal with like terms when it comes to adding and subtracting, but for multiplying and dividing, do not deal with like terms. You don't care if the letters are the same or not. All you need to do is deal with powers. Now, let's take a look at multiplying. So when multiplying algebra, you need to learn to add the powers. So uh, multiply the numbers together first is step one. Then step two is multiply the pronumerals together. So pronumerals are actually letters. Like for example, A and times B is AB. But if there's more than one letter that are the same, you need to add the powers. For example, if there's B times B, there's actually an invisible one on top of the B. So what you do is you add the powers. So this becomes B squared. So same thing over here, A to the power of five plus two, which is A to the power of seven. So let's simplify this. For example, 2a times 5ab. So 2a times 5ab, what you're going to do is firstly, multiply the numbers together. So this times that is 10. Then you do the pronumerals, which is the letters. So you just add them together. a and a, there's two of them. So it is a squared. b is alone. So you just write b at the end. And that's how you get your answer. Next one, division. Uh, you minus the power. So it's the opposite of multiplication. What you want to do is first put your question in a fraction form. Simplify the numbers and leave it in a fraction form. Then what you want to do is deal with the letters afterwards by cancelling out common pronumerals in the numerator and denominator. So you want to see what's at the top and then what's at the bottom. Simplify the pronumerals letters by minusing the powers. So a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 2 is equal to a to the power of 5 minus 2, which is a to the power of 3. Let's take a look at this question here. So I wrote 20a power 6 divided by 5a to the power of 8. The first thing you need to do is put in a fraction form. So what we're going to do is do 20a6 over 5a8. Then you want to simplify the numbers. So 20 and over 5 is 20 divided by 5. So 5 can go into 24 times. So that goes as 1. Then you want to simplify the pronumerals next. So if there's 6 a's up here and 8a down here, there would only be two left here. So what's left over? It's four over one a, which is the same thing as four over a squared. And that's how you get that number. So what's really important here? Very important that when dividing in algebra, you put it in fraction form. Most students will skip this and they will fail to correctly divide uh, the numbers in the pronumerals and thus they will get it wrong. For example, the example above, students might have written four a squared instead of four over a squared because they don't realize that the a, there are more a's in the denominator. So that's pretty much it guys. If there are any questions that you need clarification on, please feel free to comment below and um, I'll help you out. Thanks.